Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you again. Today, I want to get into a pair of SB Dunk Lows that I was able to get on a shop drop on the sneakers app. I think these look incredible and I can't wait to get into them with y'all. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at the City of Style SB Dunk Lows. I did get these from a shock drop on the sneakers app. I am unsure and I couldn't find it online anywhere. Maybe somebody knows. If you know, then throw it in the comments. I don't know if they dropped all their stock of these on that shock drop or if sneakers will have another drop later. I think they dropped a lot of numbers of these. Like I think it was around 100,000 pairs, which for an SB Dunk Low, I mean, that would seem like it would be all the stock. I also know that they've already been rolling these out at skate shops all over the US because a lot of people said they already had them even before the shock drop from the sneakers app. Let me know down in the comments if you know if that was the main sneakers drop or if they're going to drop even more of these at a later date. Either way, I'm glad I got my pair, but I'm just not sure if that was the only drop we're seeing on the sneakers app for these. It came in the purple Nike SB box, nothing out of the ordinary there. The tag reads Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Premium and the colors are football gray and coconut milk i went with my usual sb dunk low size which is a 10 and a half and without wasting too much time on the box and packaging i'm a big fan of these a really big fan of these whenever i saw images of them i kind of thought that they had this almost purple hue because of the red suede that's underneath all this material however it is just a lavender colored material i think it does a pretty good job at hiding the red suede underneath whenever i first saw images of these i liked them but i wasn't sure if it was something that i was going to go for or not and then i started seeing pictures of some people cutting off some of the panels and everything and i think that just adds a whole other twist to these it's a orangish red suede underneath of it and i've seen some people just remove some of the panels i saw images of them with all the panels removed and i will say after getting them in person i won't cut panels anytime soon i think i'll wear them like this for a while then once i get some use out of them in this state i think then it would be fun to kind of customize them a little bit and switch up the look of them i would probably remove the material here on the mug guard and also wrapping around the heel on this panel i would definitely keep some of this fabric on the shoe just because i think it looks incredible on there i think these look great as they are they could have released these just in this state without it being a tearaway fabric or whatever and i think they would have looked good like that i also didn't realize that they've got gold piping basically on every panel of these but it's a really nice touch typically i'm not into like shiny gold or metallic looking materials but on this pair it really works and it does kind of give these a more premium and just a really classy look in my opinion I like how all the panels are a little bit different because it's just got this all over print and obviously it all came from the same cloth. The toe boxes have different images on them and really every panel that you see is going to be a little mismatched whenever it comes to whatever image is on there. But there's some trees, there's some graffiti looking pictures and it's just a really interesting shoe. I also love these colors. I wouldn't have thought that like lavender and gold would go together so well, but they really just flow and I think they're beautiful. I think it's a really cool looking pair of kicks. I also didn't realize that these were inspired by Paris because that's where the upcoming Olympic games are gonna be. So I think that's another cool touch as well. 
and I guess that's where you get the city of style title from just because they're talking about Paris. Looking at the outsole, it's just a cream color. I guess maybe that's the coconut milk, but it almost looks like a sail or just an off-white. Very similar to a regular dunk pattern, but I think this tread pattern is supposed to give you a better grip than what the regular dunk tread pattern does. A couple things that differ about these tread patterns is on the pivot point, you get some little stars on the SB dunks. And on SB dunks, you get that foam peeking through in the midfoot. On this pair, it's in kind of a gold or a brown color and it says Nike SB. Then as we come up the shoe, we can see that the outsole and the midsole are the exact same color. I've heard differing opinions on that. Some people like it, some people don't, but I really just think it depends on each individual shoe. I think it looks nice in this case. I do like that they gave us some contrasting stitching. It looks like that's kind of that brown or that gold color to match the laces and the piping on the top of the tongue but I think that's a nice little accent. And then as we get to the upper on the shoe, this is my favorite part of it. I just love this fabric. I love the print all over it. It almost looks like it's got like an oriental kind of touch to it. And maybe that's the gold piping on the edges of the overlays as well, but it's just got a really cool classy look. I'm a huge fan of this. I really like this design. It doesn't look like anything that I have in my collection already. Similar to another pair of dunks that I have with the tearaway material, the Clot Fragment Dunk Lows. I haven't cut the material on them just because I like that material so much. And I think similar to that, I'm gonna keep this material on here at least for a little bit, but at some point I do plan on revealing some of that suede underneath. Sometimes when they give us that tearaway fabric, you can tell very blatantly that it is made to be removed. But on this pair, I feel like it looks really nice. The shoe just has a very clean, a very nice look, and it doesn't look like you need to do anything to it to make it look right. Like, I'm really digging the style of these as they come. I know I've already touched on it, but I just love this gold piping. I think that is such a cool looking material, and you can see it on the edge of every piece of fabric on here. On the heel tab, we have some gold stitching that says Nike, and I think that looks nice and clean. One gripe about this pair is just, it only came with one pair of laces. And I think for a shoe like this, they definitely should have thrown in another set of laces or two sets of laces. I always like getting lace options on SB Dunk Lows, and I am surprised that they only came with this set of brown SB laces already in there. I have a spare set of red laces from my City of Love Dunk Lows that I got earlier this year, and I might see how those look in the shoe just for a little bit of contrast, but I don't know that I would prefer them more. I think they might look better once you start tearing away some of this fabric, but like I said, I just wish they would have given us another lace option or two with this pair. The tag is the same color as our laces and has some Nike SB branding on it. And then our piping on the tongue kind of matches the laces in that tag as well. It does have a fat tongue, but it's not really firm. It's kind of like soft and squishy. I really like how they gave us a different color for the sock liner. It's kind of like a baby blue and all these overlays are like a lavender color, but it's just another nice little subtle accent and I just think it adds to the shoe. And our insole is brown and it's got some Nike SB branding as well as some Air Zoom branding. But that was a pretty quick look at the City of Style SB Dunk Lows. I think these are beautiful. I'm gonna keep them like this for a little bit. Let me know what you would do if you would wear them as is, or if you would remove some of those panels. Maybe I'll grab a picture and put it in here of some of the panels removed. It really does change up the whole look of the shoe. I wish they would have come with other laces, but that's really my only gripe about these. I think they knocked these out of the park and I'm pumped to have these in the collection.
I guess we've got another SB Dunk Low coming up. What's it called? Big Money Savings or something to that effect. And it's kind of inspired by thrift shops and that sort of thing. Let me know what you all think about those. I really haven't made a decision if I'll be going for them or not. But I think they look pretty cool. As always, I appreciate you watching tremendously. And I will catch you on the next one. I'm out.